An ecosystem is a community of living and non-living things that interact with each other in a specific environment. It includes all the living organisms, plants, animals, and microorganisms, in a given area, as well as the non-living components, air, water, soil, light, and temperature, that affect their survival and well-being. The structure of an ecosystem is defined by the relationships between the different components, including the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients. For example, in a forest ecosystem, the sun is the primary source of energy, and it is used by plants to produce food through photosynthesis. This food is then consumed by herbivores, which in turn are consumed by carnivores. At the same time, the dead plants and animals and their waste products are broken down by decomposers, releasing nutrients back into the soil for the plants to use again. The function of an ecosystem is the set of processes that keep it running, such as the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients. These processes are important for maintaining the balance and stability of the ecosystem. For example, the flow of energy through an ecosystem, known as the food web, is important for maintaining the populations of different species and maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. The cycling of nutrients, such as the water cycle and the carbon cycle, is important for maintaining the health and productivity of the ecosystem. Ecosystems can vary in size and complexity, from small, localized communities of organisms to large, global systems that include everything from the smallest microorganisms to the largest landforms. All ecosystems are interconnected, and changes in one ecosystem can have ripple effects throughout the entire planet. Human activities such as pollution, deforestation, overfishing, and climate change can disrupt the balance and stability of ecosystems, leading to declines in biodiversity and negative impacts on the health and well-being of both human and non-human populations. Therefore, it is important to understand and protect the functioning of ecosystems to ensure the sustainability of Earth's biodiversity and the well-being of future generations. Concept, Structure and Function of Food Web and Food Chain A food web is a diagram that represents the flow of energy and nutrients through a community of organisms. It shows the different trophic levels, or feeding relationships, within an ecosystem and how they are interconnected. Each organism in a food web is a link in a chain of energy transfer, starting with the producers, plants and other autotrophs, at the bottom and moving up through the various levels of consumers. The concept of a food web is based on the idea that all living organisms need energy to survive, and they obtain this energy by consuming other organisms. Producers, such as plants, are the base of the food web, as they are able to produce their own food through photosynthesis. Consumers, such as herbivores, carnivores and omnivoras, rely on other organisms for their energy and food. The structure of a food web is defined by the relationships between the different components, including the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients. The flow of energy starts with the sun, and it is used by plants to produce food through photosynthesis. This food is then consumed by herbivores, which in turn are consumed by carnivores. Decomposers, such as bacteria and fungi, break down the dead plants and animals and their waste products, releasing nutrients back into the soil for the plants to use again. These processes are important for maintaining the balance and stability of the ecosystem. For example, the flow of energy through a food web is important for maintaining the populations of different species and maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. The cycling of nutrients, such as the water cycle and the carbon cycle, is important for maintaining the health and productivity of the ecosystem. Food webs are dynamic and can change over time due to natural events such as droughts or wildfires, or human activities such as pollution, deforestation, overfishing, and climate change. These changes can disrupt the balance and stability of food webs, leading to declines in biodiversity and negative impacts on the health and well-being of both human and non-human populations. Therefore, it is important to understand and protect the functioning of food webs to ensure the sustainability of Earth's biodiversity and the well-being of future generations. 
A food chain is a linear sequence of organisms in an ecosystem that shows how energy and nutrients are transferred from one organism to another. It starts with a producer, such as a plant, which is consumed by a primary consumer, such as an herbivore. The primary consumer is then consumed by a secondary consumer, such as a carnivore, and so on up the chain. Each organism in a food chain is a link in a chain of energy transfer starting with the producers at the bottom and moving up through the various levels of consumers. The concept of a food chain is based on the idea that all living organisms need energy to survive, and they obtain this energy by consuming other organisms. Producers, such as plants, are the base of the food chain, as they are able to produce their own food through photosynthesis. Consumers, such as herbivores, carnivores and omnivoras, rely on other organisms for their energy and food. The structure of a food chain is defined by the relationships between the different components, including the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients. The flow of energy starts with the sun, and it is used by plants to produce food through photosynthesis. This food is then consumed by herbivores, which in turn are consumed by carnivores. Decomposers, such as bacteria and fungi, break down the dead plants and animals and their waste products, releasing nutrients back into the soil for the plants to use again. The function of a food chain is the set of processes that keep it running, such as the flow of energy and the cycling of nutrients. These processes are important for maintaining the balance and stability of the ecosystem. For example, the flow of energy through a food chain is important for maintaining the populations of different species and maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. The cycling of nutrients, such as the water cycle and the carbon cycle, is important for maintaining the health and productivity of the ecosystem. Food chains are a subset of a food web, as a food web is a much more complex interconnected set of food chains. Food chains are also dynamic and can change over time due to natural events such as droughts or wildfires, or human activities such as pollution, deforestation, overfishing, and climate change. These changes can disrupt the balance and stability of food chains, leading to declines in biodiversity and negative impacts on the health and well-being of both human and non-human populations. Therefore, it is important to understand and protect the functioning of food chains to ensure the sustainability of Earth's biodiversity and the well-being of future generations.